This is Christian with Collision Hub and we're at the Northeast Trade Show on the last day in New Jersey. And no trade show for us is complete without coming by the 3M booth and taking a look at some of the new things that they've released into the market. 2010 was a great year for 3M with some introductions, some tools that we just can't live without. And from the crowd at the booth, you can tell it's one of the most popular places to stop by. So tell me a little bit about what you guys brought to the Northeast Trade Show with you this time. Well, Christy, what we did was we actually have brought along with us a lot of the new products that we did introduce in 2010. A couple of them, as you're looking at them on the table here, number one, the, the, the AccuSpray primer gun has been a huge success for us over the last couple of, uh, over the last year. With the introduction there of uh, the three ounce rule, rule 40 with the three ounce liner, we've been able to actually capture a lot of market share, make a lot of shops compliant, help them there. We've also introduced the D-Nib tool, which be has become a huge cost or a time saver for a lot of the shops. Now they're doing a lot less full panel blending and, and preparation. Uh, the DNIP tool has been phenomenal. We also came along with our own buffing uh, tool, which again was a spin-off of our DAs that we introduced about a year and a half ago. We put the name 3M on them, and again, we've gotten some good, good response there as well. So overall, a lot of these products are still making a good foothold into 2011, so we're excited. Right, it's just some great stuff. I think it keeps getting better, and, and uh, we're absolutely, we're in love with our Acus break. Um, and our DMS, we can't, right. I think it, we kind of fight over it as it goes around. Like the last show we went to, my DMS was taking from me at the booth, but it went to a nice, lovely body shop home, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let it go. Now, we also changed a little bit of the uh, foam, foam uh, masking for jam openings. Kind of has a little bit of a redesign, a reshape. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And uh, we've got that featured over here today. And what's nice about that is that we've typically had three different sizes for our soft edge foam. Uh, what this new product has done is actually standardize or minimize it down to one particular skew for the shop for distribution. It also fits multiple applications for the shop when it comes to jamming uh, and masking. And uh, it's actually become a huge time saver. And again, uh, it's taken off tremendously already. We've only really been talking about that one for a short period of time. Right. So we'll get, we should be getting a lot of traction in 2009. Now, one of the things that we know, we know 3M makes great products. We know that it makes great products in multiple areas, it's not just in automotive. It's hard to go anywhere. But I think one people what people don't understand is that 3M actually has some great training tools available for collision repair shops. Correct. Some standard operating procedures. Can you explain a little bit about kind of the services that are offered through 3M on the website? Okay. As you know, and again, you hit it, the website. We're trying to direct a lot of our shops and even distribution now to uh, to, to move towards the website. And wouldn't have it. Um, you know, we've come a long way with our website with the amount of information that we actually show. Uh, but what we specifically have done for body shops and even distribution as a training tool is to put up what we call our standard operating, operating procedures online. So literally you can just go to www.3m forward slash automotive, click along the left and you'll find training videos. And what that can actually do is actually set us up in the shop to help a shop standardize on a process. We'll, we'll literally use that website as a training tool. Technicians can also log on individually and get themselves certified through, these, through the website on the SOPs. So again, it doesn't minimize what we do in the field. We're still going to be there as a first point of contact and voice for the customers. But when we walk away from the shop, what we found a lot of times is that it goes out of mind and there's never been a reference for them to come back and look at. So that's what the website and, and, and our, our website specifically yeah. provides now. Huge tool. Right. Huge tool. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. You got a line of people Christy, that want to meet the tools.